Meet Ashraf Hakimi, the only man that defeated a woman using another woman, legend to be remembered by history. Ashraf Hakimi to the world, your mother is the only person who will never betray you as a man. Today we will explore the untold story that triggered the actions of Hakimi and stay to the very end to find out. Be sure to subscribe and smash that like button. Now let's begin. Ashraf Hakimi Mou is a Moroccan professional footballer who plays for Ligue 1 club Paris Saint-Germain and the Morocco national team. He mainly plays as a right back but can play be deployed in the left back and winger positions. He scored the penalty kick that took Morocco to the World Cup semi-finals in Qatar 2022. Hakimi, who is considered one of the best defenders in the world, joined Paris Saint-Germain from Inter Milan in 2021. He now plays alongside superstars such as Lionel Messi and Kylian Mbappe. Due to his impressive performances at both club and international levels last year, the 24-year-old was named in the Men's Best 11 at FIFA's annual awards ceremony in Paris. Abouk, 36, approached the court to seek the dissolution of their marriage and demanded half of Hakimi's property in a divorce settlement. However, it was discovered that he had no assets. The 24-year-old Moroccan international had registered all his properties and assets under his mother, Sadia Mouth's name. Ashraf Hakimi's wife had taken the court for a divorce case and wanted them to separate the assets and divide them in court. When the divorce took place and they agreed to share the assets, they realized Ashraf Hakimi had no assets, and neither did the bank. Ashraf Hakimi had put all his fortune in his mother's name a long time ago. The pair started courting in 2018, married in 2020, and have two sons. She filed for divorce in March 2023. Earlier, the star defender had been accused of raping a woman he invited to his matrimonial home when his wife and the family were in Dubai. A 23-year-old woman told police this weekend she had been raped by the Paris Saint-Germain player but did not wish to file a complaint. She told officers she only wanted to make a statement of rape, but prosecutors are now personally pursuing the case. They launched an investigation due to the seriousness of the allegations and the notoriety of Hakimi. According to La Parisienne, the 24-year-old defender began talking to the woman on January 16th on Instagram. He allegedly then invited her to his home in Bologna on Saturday, reportedly ordering her an Uber to transport her. Hakimi's wife, actress Hiba Abouk, is currently holidaying in Dubai with their young two sons. His accuser claims that after arriving at his home, the footy star began kissing her on the mouth while lifting her clothes. She alleged he kissed her breasts despite her protesting, before digitally penetrating her without consent. The woman told police she finally managed to free herself after kicking Hakimi with her foot before texting a friend to pick her up. He has not yet responded to the allegations. The Moroccan ace met his wife Hiba in 2018 when he was in Dortmund, seeing her relocate from Madrid. Twelve years his senior, she made her name in the Spanish crime drama El Principe, and like Hakimi, she is a devout Muslim. Hakimi is one of the most renowned football players. His popularity increased following his spectacular performances during Morocco's historic run at the 2022 World Cup. Hakimi and his partner Hiba Abouk have two sons. The athlete and his wife became parents first to Amin, their first child in February 2020. The pair share similar stories. She was born in Madrid to parents who had emigrated from Tunisia. They got married in a secret wedding in 2020 before welcoming their first son, while their second child was born in 2022. Back in October, with the World Cup on the horizon, they appeared in a stunning shoot in Vogue Arabia. Hakimi was credited for helping his national team reach the historic semi-final sport in the 2022 tournament. French judicial authorities have opened an investigation for rape into Moroccan soccer player Ashraf Hakimi, a source close to the investigation confirmed to CNN. The Nanterre Prosecutor's Office just outside of Paris is leading the investigation. The Nanterre Prosecutor's Office does not wish to comment on the ongoing investigation, as the information already published jeopardizes the inquiries necessary for finding the truth. A Paris Saint-Germain spokesperson said the club supports the player who has firmly denied the accusations and trusts the justice system. Paris Saint-Germain is an institution that promotes respect on and off the pitch. Ashraf Hakimi's mother, Saida Mou, has maintained her son's innocence amid sexual assault allegations, stressing that Hakimi was well brought up and has over the years exhibited high moral standards to the world. Mua, the mother of Hakimi, claimed that when she asked her son about the allegations, he swore to her that he was innocent. 
Hakimi does not deserve what is happening to him, his mother emphasized, arguing that there are several guards and surveillance cameras in every direction at his house that could show if the alleged incident took place. In the French legal system, preliminary charges mean judges have strong reason to suspect a crime was committed, but are allowing time for further investigation before deciding whether to send a case to trial. Hakimi's lawyer, Fanny Collins, said the player strongly denied accusations made against him in a written message to the Associated Press. Collins said her client being indicted is an obligatory step for any person being accused of rape and will allow Hakimi to defend himself by giving him access to the case. Collin also said that some elements collected by the judicial police show, according to her, that Hakimi, in this case, has been subjected to a racketeering attempt. At a news conference on Friday, Paris Saint-Germain coach Christophe Galtier said he would answer no questions of a non-sporting nature relating to Ashraf Hakimi. The players were hard-working and serious, Galtier said when asked what the mood was like at training given the case. Hakimi returned to training with Paris Saint-Germain on Friday after a minor hamstring issue, and he could be in the team's squad to play with the rest of the team. Not only that, Hakimi appeared on stage at the FIFA Awards in Paris. He was honored as part of the player-voted men's all-star team and was greeted by brief, loud applause when introduced. Are you proud of Hakimi?